What's going on guys, King Strats here, back to the video on the channel, and today we have another full menu review. I got one of everything on the White Castle menu. Now, if you don't know, White Castle specializes in little sliders, and they had a popular movie, Hyrule and Kumar went to White Castle a long time ago. Am I a fan of White Castle? Sometimes. It's one of those things that anybody knows, every time you go there, sometimes it disagrees with your stomach, and it's like one of those things I can only eat once or twice a year just happens to be that day so like i said one of everything on the menu bunch of sliders got some sides there's a lot of different things on the menu from the last time i went there they used to have clam strips they're gone but you get the idea drop a thumbs up let me know what other full menu fast food joints you want to see a review of we got it all so here we go i'm not gonna hold y'all up man let's start with some of their new items i gotta find them if you don't know how white castle does their things they kind of put them in here and you got to like search for it. And the way they package it, it's kind of hard to see what it is. But I know this is a limited edition thing. This is definitely it right here. So we have a 1921 slider, which is a thicker patty. Mem commemorates the year that White Castle opened up. But it comes with ghost pepper cheese. So that is what is on there. I remember having this one time and I thought it was pretty good. So let's see if the ghost pepper cheese does something. It's all the rage that's ghost pepper these days, isn't it? Theirs has a kick. Their ghost pepper cheese, right off the bat, might be the spiciest ghost pepper cheese that I've had. A lot of times, it just comes across as like a glorified hot sauce. There's a noticeable spice level on this. Again, it's not going to be something that, if you're expecting like really spicy ghost pepper, that's going to mess you up. But this has a pretty spicy kick to it. You can see that the patty on the 1921 as compared to is this regular one there's a regular one in there is a lot thicker and it normally comes with pickles and onions on the regular version this has lettuce and tomato on it i don't like lettuce for people who don't know so there is a tomato on there i do like the ghost pepper cheese and i said this before and i'm gonna stand by it if i'm gonna eat white castle it's gonna be a 1921 i just think this one is a lot better it's nothing too crazy to write home about but white castle is a definite like craving type of place it's not a place that i go to on a regular you got to be in the mood for it i just happen to be seven and a half out of ten also got a sack of the onion rings the sack is what they call it when you get to see a sack of size i'm not making that up their onion rings if i remember are pretty good they believe it or not this was like really upsetting for me they didn't have any of their zing sauce which is like their version of zesty sauce which i really like so i ended up getting honey mustard which is stuck together but right here i'm gonna try one first without it their onion rings are kind of mid i think burger king's are way better they have a rubbery taste to them but when you're in the mood for it it does hit let's get a little honey mustard on here or on my chin they're rubbery but I still eat them. <laughs> this is, it's going to be so hard to explain to people that don't know. If you know, you know. You can just see that they're very flimsy. Burger Kings are actually have more of a crisp to them. But, I don't know why. I still like them. They're not elite. <laughs> but they hit when you want them. <laughs> I'm laughing because yeah, if you know, you know. I'll give it a five and a half out of ten. They're mid, but I still, on the right day, they like an eight. This is one of their breakfast sliders. I don't think I've actually ever had one. It comes on a Belgian waffle. And I got two different kinds. This one has bacon on it. They wrap it up. I don't know why they wrap it up. I have a bag over here. I'm not throwing it on the floor. Look. So people know. Some people think I'm just be throwing stuff on the floor. I don't. I always got a bag there. So that is their bacon Belgian waffle slider. Comes with an egg. Bacon looks flimsy. Actually, this whole thing looks kind of flimsy, but... It's not bad. It's not great. But I'm going to give you the pros before I give you a con. The flavor on this isn't bad because their Belgian waffle has a little bit of like a syrup baked into it like a McGriddle. So it is pretty good. That's the pro. The con, you can just tell this thing soggy as all hell. But again, this thing costs like $1.79. I'm not expecting too much. And when you want it, I can't lie, man. Like, as much as people will say this is probably not good, if you know, you know. Like, I don't know. I just was in the mood for White Castle, so 
This thing low-key hits right now. On a good day, I'll give this a seven and a half. On a normal day, it's probably about a four and a half. <laughs> just, just look, I'm being honest. Another one off the menu I have never had before, fish nibblers. They're like little fish balls, I guess. I, I, I would think there's something similar to a fish stick, but I don't know. Comes with tartar sauce, which I don't like. So I'm just gonna do this like this. Tastes like fish sticks. It's really not that bad. That's actually surprisingly pretty good. The skin on the outside, the, the breading is nice and crispy. And it just tastes like a fish stick or like a filet of fish, something like that. I don't live far from White Castle, so everything's still nice and fresh. As fresh as it's going to get. I, I think I like those. I'm not going to... They ain't got no ranch, bro. That's going to work for me. So I got the ghost cup pepper ranch from Wendy's. I actually really don't like White Castle's Ranch. It has a weird aftertaste, and that I knew, so I didn't even ask for it. But I'm actually gonna take this fish nibbler, and I'm gonna put it in this ghost pepper ranch. Cause you gotta have stuff in an all-purpose drawer in your house. If you know, you know. Bro, I'll eat those. <laughs> That's... How is this the best damn thing I've had so far? They're good. I like them. Better than some places, chicken nuggets. 8.3 out of 10 for people who think I don't drink anything. I'm gonna take a sip of my Diet Pepsi on camera. Normally I don't. So I always get comments about people that say, how do you not drink anything? I do, I just usually don't edit it in because if I'm just trying stuff, like what's the point of me showing you a soda? But here, Diet Coke, there you go. Actually that's a Pepsi, not that it matters. Got the Mutsi stick, AKA the mozzarella stick. I always call them Mutsi sticks. Does it have a cheese pull? It does have a cheese pull. White Castle. I, you saw it here first. Those bang. Of course, it always matters if they're still warm. They still are. These good. The breading's good on it. I know they're frozen, but they got a nice little little flavor to them. You can see the seasoning. Can you see the seasoning? You can see it. Don't lie. Let's get this uh, packaged marinara sauce that's gonna taste like ass, but it's what you dip in these, right? I can't stand packaged marinara sauce. I think it's just because I grew up eating a homemade stuff like this all the time. That immediately, this just, just tastes like ketchup with a little bit more of a tomato flavor than sugar to me, and I don't like it. But I do like these. I can work with those. It's a very run-of-the-mill mutsy stick, but when you're at a fast food joint, they're better than the ones I've had at some other places that serve a mutsy stick. So that works for me. 6.8 out of 10. I don't think I've ever had these before, but these are their breakfast hash browns. They look just like regular hash browns, but a lot of times these little things at places hit. Not really. For comparison, other places like Dunkin' Donuts and Burger King serve stuff like this. And they taste better. Not that these taste bad, but compared to those, which have a little bit more of like a texture and a seasoning, like a saltiness to it, these don't have any. This just tastes like a potato. Four out of ten. What is this? This is a breakfast sandwich. Yeah, this is a sausage and cheese breakfast sandwich with jalapeno cheddar, I think. I forgot what I got. Doesn't say. Let's see. It's pretty basic. But I don't mind it. The good thing about it to me is it's not incredibly greasy or oily. And it has a real egg in it. As opposed to that folded egg that you get from some places unless you ask for it. Which, this is just how it comes. You know. So I think these are like $1.80 or, or like two twenty dollars something like that. Do I have a price on here? Where's the breakfast slider? Where's the breakfast slider? It is $2.64 with tax. So I don't think it's bad. I need a little ketchup or something though. I don't want no ketchup. I like ketchup on a breakfast sandwich. But this would be a lot better on their waffle bun. When it comes to fast food, 
I prefer getting sausage over bacon because the bacon's always soggy. And I don't like soggy bacon. So I do like the sausage patty a lot better. But I have no problem with this. Again, it's not great, but it does hit when you want it. Well, then. I can rock with that. 6.7 out of 10. Yes, 0.7. This should be their uh, waffle slider. Yeah, so this is the waffle slider, and this is the one with the sausage. This is going to hit. What kind of cheese did I get on this one? I think I got the ghost pepper. Is there freaking mayo on this? No, that's cheese. Yeah, that's cheese. I thought I put mayo on this. And you know, y'all think I'm getting trolled at this point because they keep putting mustard. But here it is. This is the breakfast sausage egg and cheese slider. I believe I have white cheddar. This is good. The sausage patty works so much better than the bacon. This has such a little syrupy to this waffle that it reminds you of a McGriddle. But I'm going to be honest about this. The McGriddle, like the actual bread, is better. This has way more of a syrupy flavor than McGriddle. If you've never had White Castle, I think you'd really like this. This is good. This is the one. So far, by far my favorite thing I've had from here, and I didn't see that coming. Seriously. This is one of the better breakfast sandwiches I've had. Y'all gonna think I'm crazy. 9 out of 10. This is an accidental order. I got another sausage, um, egg and cheese. It's the same exact one. I remember that part. But this was not an accidental order. This is the panko fish sandwich with the ghost pepper cheese. You can see it right there. This thing is magically stuck together, but... The fish nuggets were good. This can't be that bad. It's not that bad. I like the spiciness from the ghost pepper cheese. It's not great. White Castle just hits when you want it, man. I'm not going to be able to have this for another, like nine months. But today, this is kind of hitting the spot. I can't believe I like this. I'm going in for the ghost pepper ranch, believe it or not. The panko is not noticeably crispy, but it is crispy. Kind of along the lines of these surprising things right here. Those are good. But just in sandwich form. I don't have a problem with this. I'm eating the whole thing. That's a weird one. Eight and a half out of ten. I'm drinking again. I'm going to show you. See that? I wouldn't lie to y'all. Now, this is their Sloppy Joe slider. I don't know if I've had this or not. I don't remember what I got. I think this is this. They have a spicy version and a regular version. And I don't know which one it is, this is. I think this is just a regular version, but we are going to find out. So this is their Sloppy Joe slider. What do you mean, a Sloppy Joe? Tastes like a manwich. You ever have the manwich Sloppy Joe's? A little bit of cheese on it. Again, it ain't nothing too special. Do I have, like, anything? No? Marinara? I have cheese dip from Papa John's. It just needs some kind of, like, sauce on this to really break it off. Let's just go back and with the ghost pepper ranch then. That's no problem. That ain't no problem. It's not something I go out of my way to get, but I don't necessarily mind it. If I'm picking a burger from here, it's still the 1921 slider, but it's respectable. It's got some kind of flavor to it. It tastes like that man with sloppy joe. If you like those, you'll like this. And I kind of like those. So, upper mid, six and a half out of ten. Oh, we got chicken ring. This is a chicken slider. This is a chicken slider of some sort. I think this is the chicken ring slider. There's two different kinds. This is what I used to get as a kid all the time because back in those days, White Castle didn't allow you to take the pickles off the burger or the onions, and I didn't like onions back then. I do now. So, I used to get the chicken ring slider all the time. You get two chicken rings, and then you get two pieces of cheese in their little slider bun. How the hell did I eat this as a kid? It's the texture of the chicken that's just super rubbery. It's hard to rate white casseroles. I'm not expecting too much, but I wouldn't order this again. Let's take one more bite, though. Their chicken rings are like rubber. That's a kid, this is all I eat. 
That's crazy. This has the ghost pepper cheese on it as well, which is relatively spicy. And you can see there's a big glob of cheese in the middle because of the chicken ring. But that is just rubbery. Yeah, let's just put that one away. This goes in here. Yeah, three out of ten. So this is their spicy sloppy joe, which has ghost pepper cheese on it. And I think there's like crispy jalapenos on this as well. I can't open it because it's completely stuck together. So I don't know if they're under there. You can see right there. It might be under this. I don't know. Let's see. It's not. There's ghost pepper cheese on here though. So it just tastes like a spicier sloppy joe slider. It's supposed to have crispy jalapenos on it. Oh well. It's White Castle, man. <laughs> it's White Castle. But I like it with the ghost pepper cheese better because the sloppy joe part is a little sweet because it's kind of like a ketchup base. And then you get a little bit of that spicy. This is the one that I would order. I think we could put together a W White Castle order if you put this all together, to be honest. Have to try again next year, though, because this, that's not going to happen. But that one's even better. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. We got an OG. This is just White Castle slider. No pickles. Got the onions. Got the ketchup. On a little funny bun. This is just like the, the, the gold standard of what people usually get from White Castle. Little, little, some people say they're rat burgers. Stop, okay? I never really get these when I go to White Castle, believe it or not, even though it's their most popular item. I would get everything else besides this. The 1921 slider, since it's come back, is just so much better than this, in my opinion. But I understand if you got a craving for these, I completely get it. It's not that they're bad. I just think the 1920 one's better than this. You get the ketchup, a little bit of that onion. I know people like the pickles, so you want to add that in. But I do like the fact that it has that like grilled onion flavor on it, which makes this relatively good. But you know what you're getting with a place like this. And this you'll never really go wrong with. I just think at this point, with the additions they've made, they have better items. So I'll give this one a 6.5 out of 10. I still like it. It's just no longer in a White Castle tier, believe it or not. This is their chicken slider. You can see there's a different chicken tender on this one. Um, and I think I got cheddar cheese on this, but this is like a chicken one. It looks flat as hell, but I don't think I've ever eaten this one either. Same thing. Their chicken, the fish is better than the chicken. It's just like rubbery. And I know people say, well, what do you expect is White Castle? I would get this over that. Any day. That's what I expect. I would pick the fish sandwich over the chicken. But let's ghost pepper ranch it. Yeah. It just literally tastes like just like like rubber. There's no like taste to this whatsoever. The burgers have a taste with the onion. The breakfast sliders, the sloppy joe, everything else has a taste. This tastes it tastes like nothing. But rubber. I can't believe the chicken I gave the lowest rating, and this is what I used to eat all the time as a kid. I guess I'm just getting old, because this gets a 2 out of 10. Another slider. What the hell is it? This is a chicken ring? I get the same one? Yeah, I think I got the same slider. Yeah, they gave me two of the same slider. And this is an OG slider, too. Believe it or not, that's all of the burgers and stuff that they have at White Castle. The only thing that I have left are their fries, and I got them with the loaded fries, because I don't really like their fries alone and I figured I would just try it but this is a White Castle fry by itself I'll just give you one that didn't have any cover these are the worst thing on the menu to me I never like White Castle's fries they're just the plainest thing you'll ever get if you're gonna get their fries you might as well get something like this that I probably wouldn't get this either we did say one of everything so I did get whatever the hell this might be it's got bacon ranch and cheese on it I mean, you can well dress it as much. Their ranch sucks. I'm telling you, the ranch has a weird taste to it to me. Let's try another piece, though. Nah. Oh, wasted calories. Can't do that. Mm -mm. I really don't like their fries. They should load their onion rings up or something like that. Or, like, use salt or something. But their fries just come across as, like, soggy. Even if you get them, and I've eaten White Castle fries in the parking lot and they were soggy. And again, I don't live far from this place. And they're still warm, but I know that there's stuff on there. But even when I don't get it without it, when I get a sack of fries, I always get their onion rings because it's slightly better. Slightly rubbery too, but 
Those fries just don't do it for me at any time with anything on them. One out of 10. Now, there's a couple of things missing because of the dessert menu. I didn't get it because their desserts are packaged and they're from another brand for people who don't know, like the ooey gooey butter cakes and stuff like that. You can get those at Wawa. They just come on a stick is the only difference, so I didn't get it. I also feel like those wouldn't travel well because a lot of them are like frozen and they would have melted um, by the time they were just sitting here. So I didn't get their desserts, but I got everything else on the menu. Is White Castle a good restaurant? I said it before and I'm gonna kinda just double down on what I said. If you're in the mood for White Castle, it hits. If you just go there like every day, I don't really think, I don't know anybody who goes there all the time, but every once in a while you get like a weird craving for White Castle and they've kind of marketed it that way because they call their stuff like Crave Case and things of that nature when you get like the, the big amount of sliders and just getting all of these sliders and stuff, the nostalgia from even Harold and Kumar in the movie and people who, I don't do this and people think I do, but if you're like on the 420, you know, a lot of people think White Castle hits. I probably won't eat White Castle again for, I think I eat White Castle maybe once or twice a year. You can check my feeds because that's when it will be in there. So it does hit the spot when you want it, but this the stomach grumblings that it does to you, most people, it'll make you not want to go there again. So it, it's to me like, I'm going to just be, for me personally, it's mid to good. It's mid most of the time, but when I'm in mood for it, it does hit. I won't lie about that fact. Price-wise, you get all the burgers between like $1 and $2 for the most part. I think the breakfast one's like $3, so it'll come out to like, this whole thing, like like maybe $34 or something like that for all this stuff that you see right here. Um, and for that reason, like, it, it's still good. Their, their prices are still relatively low. There's not that many of them left, but there are a few in New Jersey where I live. There's still like three or four around here, and I still like it, but I'm not going to eat it for a while. So that, that's my final verdict. Also, the Lakers are up 16 right now. I am watching the game um, in the fourth quarter. So it looks like, for all intents and purposes, the Lakers are going through. If you're a Knicks fan, I told y'all to stop running your mouth. Even if the Celtics go to Cancun, I told y'all y'all was coming with me. I said heat and six. Y'all went home in six. So I'm sorry. Take it. Take the L. Y'all are just not what it is. <laughs> and that's that. As far as my Celtics go, Game 7 is on Sunday, and I said it before, I didn't think they were going to win Game 6, but they did. If they do, I'm going to be happy. If not, I'm going to take my lumps just like the rest of y'all. So if, if Knicks fans, if, if it comes to the worst, I'll catch y'all with the Suns fans too. I'll catch y'all in Cancun. We'll go over there. We'll have a margarita and call it a day. I still love y'all. It's all the love. Sports is sports. Warriors, if y'all got to go too, y'all deserve it because y'all talked too much trash to me last year. Come to Cancun with your boy. <laughs> so I love man basketball is a trash talking sport sports fans y'all already know the vibes the playoffs are one of my favorite times of the year I don't have any Tatum chips but they are over there I'm saving those for Sunday hopefully we get the dub if not I'll catch y'all in Cancun like I said but White Castle I think there's the perfect order from it I would get for me I would get a 1921 slider or two I would get the fish nuggets believe it or not I can't believe I'm saying that I would get an onion ring just because you got to get an onion ring and one of those breakfast sliders and maybe a dessert and that would be my play I think the 1921 is better and if you're feeling it, get yourself a mootsie stick. But that is going to be the end of the video. I'm going to catch the rest of this game. I'm going to take it low-key today. Um, I'm not sick or anything like that, but sometimes you got to, like, actively just get to try to rest. So I'm going to rest up a little bit. Normally on Fridays, I go out. Not this week, believe it or not. I'm actually going to rest, try to get some bit sleep, and, and watch a couple of movies. Oh, I'm going to start a Letterboxd account for people who don't um, follow me on Instagram. I put it in my stories. But Letterboxd is basically where I can just talk about the movies and just give a quick little review and a star rating. I'm still going to talk about it on YouTube, but if you want to just have it, because some people will be like, yo, did you do this movie? Did you do that movie? So if you have Letterboxd, my name is the same on everything else. Um, and you can just kind of, so there's an easier place for you to find it. If you don't want to search through these videos, sometimes people find a hard, uh, have a hard time finding those videos, which I completely understand. So I'm going to actually try to put a bunch of movies up today, but I go to the movies once a week and I'm going to try to put like a little mini review in there not a lot of words but more like a star rating if it's worth it or not etc but that is going to be the end of the video like i said before and i will catch y'all tomorrow more content man i love y'all thank y'all so much for your support the hand signs they made it to youtube